Ex-Twitter employees insist that Twitter did not shadow ban people. They continue. You see, the problem here is that you just don't even understand what the term shadow banning even is. What's the matter with this thing? What's all that churning and bubbling? You call that a radar screen? No, sir. We call it Mr. Coffee. Care for some? And I mean, how could you? We haven't even decided on what we're going to change the official dictionary definition to yet, you know, for the current hour. Yes! I always have coffee when I watch Radar, you know that. Of course I do, sir. Everybody knows that! Of course we do, sir! Now that I have my coffee, I'm ready to watch Radar. Where is it? And without our latest hourly update of the definition of stuff, the things you say are nonsense. I realize that. Now. <laughs> You want to take a dinghy? No, no, I took care of that at the press conference. Lieutenant, the feeling is mutual. Let me explain. First, when people say the term shadow ban, they're often confusing it with the term shadow band. Uh, Cuban? Uh, no, Dutch Irish. My father was from Wales. Shadow band being a popular rock group whose lyrics talk about Never Never Land and Peter Pan's constant struggles with his shadows. So they were able to get him to the hospital in time. Yes, he's in the intensive care ward at Our Lady of the Worthless Miracle. Another common misconception about shadow bans is that we don't actually allow shades to tweet. You know, like dead people. Uh, he's Caucasian. Caucasian? Yeah, you know, a white guy with a mustache about six foot three. An awfully big mustache. Robots and bots, they're okay, but not shades or shadows. So like, for example, we shadow banned Casper the Friendly Ghost, who happened to be friendly explaining how biology worked at the time we canceled, I mean, justifiably, politically correctly, and equitably shadow banned him. Lieutenant Frank Driven, police squad, this is my Captain Ed Hawken. Is this some kind of bust? Well, it's very impressive, yes, but we need to ask you a few questions. Because he was causing harm even though he doesn't physically exist on this plane. But anyways, also, when people misuse the term shadow ban, they're often mistaking it for our much more detailed, technical, and completely justifiable policy of don't like it, delete it. I'll call Spaceball City and notify President Scrooge immediately. I already called him, sir. He knows everything. What? You went over my helmet? or DD for short. Some people just call the policy communism, but I wouldn't go that far believing that we need to be modest. I mean, we're not to utopia yet, you know, but we're on our way and we were, we were doing our part. I'll always call you first, it'll never happen again. Never, ever. So anyways, DD is a very complex process where we had to hire thousands of people to both determine what we didn't like which involved a long Q&A with like powerful politicians. And then we had to find the stuff we didn't like so we could delete it. Oh, shit. No, 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 please, 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 no, 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 not that. And then we had a saying, if you violate DD, you go the way of the dodo, meaning we'll destroy you. Yes, that. <laughs> And once you're gone and have no means of defending your reputation, we will disparage you relentlessly until your very name is synonymous with the term stupid. That's what you get for violating DD, you dodo. But I don't even have to call you dodo anymore. Thanks to our DD policy, I can just say your name now, which means dodo, which means stupid.